and welcome to this liturgy for the National Indigenous Day of Prayer in Canada. The service this morning is being broadcast from St. Luke's Cathedral in Sault Ste. Marie, and we welcome you wherever you're visiting with us from today. Let us pray. Christ, our true and only light, receive our prayers and songs and illumine the secrets of our hearts with your healing goodness, that no evil desires may possess us who are made new in the light of your heavenly grace. Amen. Amen. Creator, you made all people of every land. It is our responsibility to give thanks and respect to those who first occupied this land we are upon. Today we are in Robinson Huron Treaty Territory, and the land on which our community is located is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe. I wish to recognize the lasting contributions of Batchewana First Nation, Garden River First Nation, the Métis Nation of Ontario, the Missinaabe Cree First Nation, and all Indigenous peoples. We offer our respect to those ancestors who may be interred in this land. We are also thankful for the gifts of the people of the land. Creator, let us be of good mind to reconcile the mistreatment of this land and to those who have been displaced. With thankful and respectful hearts, we pray in your name, your Son, the Peacemaker, and the Sacred Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning is number 349, All People That On Earth Do Dwell. Listen to the thoughts of your people. 
We respect the truth of your spirit world and care for your creations to the east, to the south, to the west, and to the north. We honor you by deeds and not words. We live by the ways you have entrusted to us within the circle of life. Come, Great Spirit, as we gather in your name. We face east. To your symbol-colored gold, the breath of the morning sun, to your animal sign, the eagle, which soars ever upward in the praise of the Creator and calls us to do the same. To your words, calling us to balance our minds and spirits in the humility and truth. We invoke your spirit of illumination and far-sighted vision. The ways have shown us how to love you and each other with heart, mind, and soul. And we pray. Come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. come. We turn to the south, to your symbol color red, the hue of revelation, to your animal sign, the wolf, strong and enduring. The ways call us to balance of spirit and harmony with all nations, tribes, and clans. We invoke your wisdom, grace, and goodness of all ages, and we pray, Come, come Holy Creator Spirit, spirit come. come. We turn to the West, to your symbol color, black, the stillness of night, to your sign, thunder, mighty and bold, to your animal sign, the buffalo. The ways call us to balance emotions in the tradition of truth and honesty. We invoke your spirit ways of seeing within the community and its strength to endure, and we pray. Come, come Holy Spirit, spirit, come. spirit come. come. We turn north to your symbol color white, the truth of clarity and brightness, to your animal sign, the bear, which touches us with earthliness and all things growing, to your words calling us to balance of our body and in the spirit of a good sense and humor. We invoke your spirit of innocence, trust, and love. The ways open our eyes to the sacredness of each living thing, and we pray. Come, come Holy, Holy Creator Spirit, Spirit come. come. We turn to complete the circle. To God, the Creator, who cleanses the world with snow, wind, and rain. To the Creator's Son, Jesus the Christ, who fills us with mercy and loving embrace of all nations, and to the Holy Creator's Spirit, who guides us, and we pray. Come, come Holy, Holy Creator Spirit, Spirit come. come. Creator, you bent the earth like a bow until it was one, round, shining planet. At your word, the land was drawn into mountains and tundra, forests and prairies, the waters were gathered together into rivers, lakes, and seas. Many times, when people crossed these seas from other lands, they broke the circle of your creation by their greed and violence, and they shattered the lives of others. Creator, renew the circle of the earth, and turn the hearts of all people to one another, that they and all the earth may live and be drawn towards you through the love of Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit in the circle of the Trinity, forever one. Amen. Amen. Creator, we, we give, give you thanks for all you are and, and all you bring to us for your visit within your creation. creation. 
In Jesus, you place the gospel in the center of this sacred circle, to which all creation is related. You show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and commitment as we grow in your spirit. For you are God, now and forever. Amen. Creator God, from you every family in heaven and earth takes its name. You have rooted and grounded us in your covenant love and empowered us with your spirit to speak the truth in love and to walk in your way towards justice and wholeness. Mercifully grant that your people journeying together in partnership may be strengthened and guided to help one another grow into the full stature of Christ, who is our light and our life. Amen. Amen. Would you please be seated for the proclamation of the word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. To whom then will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow faint or weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep he has set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It, it goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More, more to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Gracious creator of heaven and earth, your word has come among us as the true son of righteousness, and the good news of his birth has gone out to the ends of the world. Open our eyes to the light of your law, 
that we may be purified from sin and serve you without reproach for the sake of Jesus Christ, our light and our life. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about everything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This reading is taken from the First Nations Version, Walking the Good Road. Long ago, in the time before all days, before the creation of all things, the Word was there face to face with the Great Spirit. This Word fully represents Creator and shows us who He is and what He is like. He has always been there from the beginning, for the Word and the Creator are one and the same. Through the Word all things came into being, and not one thing exists that He did not create. Creator's life shined out from the Word, giving light to all human beings. This is the true light that comes to all the peoples of the world and shines on everyone. The light shines into the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it or put it out. Into the wilderness of the land of promise came a man named He Shows Goodwill. He was sent by the Great Spirit to tell what he knew about the light so everyone could believe. He was not the light, but came to speak the truth about the light. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the darkness of this world. He came down into this world, and even though he made all things, the world did not recognize him. Even his own tribe did not welcome or honor him. But all who welcome and trust him receive their birthright as children of the Great Spirit. They are born in a new way, not from a human father's plans or desires, but born from above by the Great Spirit. Creator's word became flesh and blood human, being and pitched his sacred tent among us, living as one of us. We looked upon his great beauty and saw how honorable he was, the kind of honor held only by this one son who fully represents his father, full of his great kindness and truth. He shows goodwill, told what he knew about him, and he cried out with a loud voice, The one I have told you about is here. He comes after me, but is much greater. My elder, he has more honor, for even though he is thought to be younger, he existed before I was born. From the fullness of his being, we have all had many gifts of kindness poured out on us. Drawn from the water, gave us our tribal laws. 
but great kindness and truth came from Creator sets free, the Chosen One. No one has ever seen the Great Spirit, but the One Son, who is himself the Great Spirit, has shown us what he is like. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. to welcome you into the National Indigenous Day of Prayer, but also to welcome you into the life that is revealed in the first chapter of the Gospel of John. In that chapter, we see a progressive pathway of hope, never absent from creation and from history, never absent from human culture and never absent from individual hearts. This pathway to hope is revealed uh, uniquely in the life, death, resurrection, and second coming of Jesus. But what we would like to also be bold to say is that it is also revealed in indigenous life, indigenous culture, indigenous history. This, of course, is contrary to the way many people have uh, looked at these things, and often the contrary to the explicit teaching of the Church in the past. It is surprising that the Church could depart so dramatically from their own uh, scriptures, but nevertheless, uh, we are in a different day today. This pathway to hope we see in the past in creation, in culture, in history, we see in our own individual path, but we also see it in a call to hope. This call to hope is experienced for us today in the context of two very critical things, especially for indigenous people. One, the COVID-19 crisis, which has revealed the inequities of indigenous people and other people on the margins in not only in North American life but around the world. This is a, a, a revelation that we must take very, very seriously. At the same time, we are experiencing the revelation of a particular kind of brutality towards people on the margins that has been uh, made a part of our culture and our way of dealing with things. This uh, is a moment of, of pain for, for indigenous people particularly, but also a moment for hope. Because we can see in the, the forces that are being released in this time, both the, the good and the bad, we can see the beginning of a very important pathway of hope to the future. What this reveals is that the life that is God sustains every particle and moment of creation. Without it, there would be nothing. But also that it, it is calling us to a world to come, a, the, the world to come that is promised and proclaimed by our teacher Jesus and, and, and is a part of this pathway to hope. So this world to come which will create a new heaven, a new, new earth, uh, a new kind of physicality, a new kind of creation, uh, it, it that we see in, in the Eucharist and that we see in our sacraments and we see in love of neighbor. We see these things also in the articulation, the proclamation, the, the word of justice, which uh, we are hearing today with, with urgency and 
clarity uh, in a way that ha has not been so for, for, for a long time. Those of us who uh, are followers of Jesus are called to live in that pathway of hope, to live in the light of the world to come, to live believing that the world to come is somehow manifest in the midst of us, to walk in that hope, that justice, that love, and to show it, to, to, to um, not just show it in what we, what we do, but to show it in what we receive. The Word is becoming flesh, we are told in John chapter 1. That means it's becoming real so that we can experience it, we can feel it, we can walk in it. We pray that you will surround yourself with this hope and this this pathway and live on this pathway of hope to begin to live the world to come now to begin to see its reality taking shape around you to not allow the, the pain and brutality of this world to uh, divert you from the way in which the world to come is beginning to appear in compassion and justice and in the proclamation of a life that we are called to lead. We thank you for this and for listening to this, and we pray that this day may be a blessing, but also it might be a doorway to a life of, of, of hope, a life that uh, portrays and proclaims the good news of the world to come that we see in the message of Jesus. Uh, thank you very much. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in the love of God, embodied in the person of Jesus, spread for the cosmos by the Holy Spirit. Creator and Redeemer, as we approach you in prayer, make us walk in beauty and balance. Make us open our hearts and minds. Make us speak the truth. We pray first for your community, the Church, the body of Christ. We pray for all our relatives in the circle of life through all creation, for those chosen to be our leaders and teachers. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. We call upon the earth, our mother and home, with its beautiful depths, soaring heights and deep waters its vitality and abundance of life. And together we ask that it teach, teach us, us and, and show, show us the way. way. We call upon the mountains and tundra, the high green valleys and prairies filled with wild, wild flowers, the snows, the summits of intense silence, and we ask that they teach, teach us, us and show us the way. way. We call upon the land which grows our food, the nurturing soil, the fertile fields, the abundant gardens and orchards. And we ask that they teach, teach us and show, show us the way. We call upon the forests, the great trees reaching strongly to the sky with earth in their roots and the heavens in their branches the fir and the pine, the cedar and the maple. We ask them to teach, teach us, us and show us, us the way. way. We call upon the creatures of the fields and forests and the waters, our brothers and sisters, the wolves and deer, the eagle and bear, 
the great whales and the fish. We ask them to teach, teach us, us and show us the way. We call upon all those who have lived on this earth, our ancestors and our friends, who dreamed the best for future generations, and upon whose lives our lives are built. And with thanksgiving, we call upon them to teach, teach us, us and show us the way. Creator, you made the world and declared it to be good. The beauty of the trees, the softness of the air, the fragrance of the grass speaks to us. The summit of the mountains, the thunder of the sky, the rhythm of the waters speak to us. The faintness of the stars, the freshness of the morning, the dewdrops on the flowers speak to us. But above all, our heart soars, for you speak to us in Jesus the Christ, in whose name we offer these prayers. Amen. Amen. Let us make our confession before God. Confession lets us set down the heavy things we carry with us, putting us in right relationship with one another and with God. So come, let us return to the Lord and say, Creator God, God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Have mercy on us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds, and revive us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord enrich you with grace and nourish you with many blessings. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences for the sake of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and also, also with you. you. As our Saviour taught us, let us pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
that came into the world, go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.